Wow, this guy is doing a good job. Very nice. This is neat. Yes, I just walked into this place now. I haven't seen any of them, but I'm sure they'll be here soon. Ah, they don't have any reason not to be. I mean, not after the way I spoke to them on the phone, they'll be here. Yes, just looking around, the house looks amazing. Keeping this girl here, the housekeeper's daughter, is a good idea. She's doing a good job, the place is good. Yes. I'm okay, except expecting. I think they're here, or maybe one of them. So let me call you back when I'm done here, okay? I'll call today or tomorrow. I would call you back. Hello, Roland. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice to see you. Oh. Nice to see you. Nice Good to see, see you too, sweetheart. Please come in. Come, come in. Come oh. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah. So how are you? Anyway, no need to ask you. You look good. Please sit down. Sit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um. This is my girlfriend, Colette. Oh, good day, ma. And uh, babe, this is my auntie. Good day, oh. ma. Yeah. I didn't know you were going to come with someone. Yeah, well, um, I wouldn't be able to stay as long as you seem to want me to stay if she's not with me, so it's not negotiable. <laughs> I see. You're welcome. Thank you, Ma. So, um, did you speak with your brother? Huh? Oh, no, no, no. No, I thought you were in touch with him. Yeah, no, I spoke to him a few times, but not in the last few months. So. Months? Yeah. Well, when you said you were in touch with him, I thought you meant you were really in touch with him. I do what I can, okay? We don't know each other, so there's no need to force a relationship, you know? I just got in. I'm tired. We are tired, okay? So we need to refresh. Okay. This is yeah. your father's house, so the rooms are at your disposal. Okay. Where's the master's bedroom? Why are you asking of the master's bedroom? According to the story, I'm my father's first son, right? And since he's no longer here, his room should naturally be mine. I mean, according to the story. Okay. Upstairs left. All right. Great. Thank you, babe. All right. Let's go. Good scene, yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. All right. <sighs> not bad. I'm still wondering why this is the first time you're coming to the house. Well, this is the first time my auntie is talking to me as family. Well, which is a good thing, so let's go in. Come in. <laughs> good evening, Good evening. 
Amen. How are you? Good evening, Good evening. Oh, yeah. That's my girlfriend. Oh, good day, man. Good day. You want, come in, come in, come in. Um, your brother has been here for a few hours. So, uh, why don't you just um, hurry upstairs, freshen up, come downstairs so we can have a conversation, all right? Okay. Um, fine. So, which, which of the rooms are Oh, we... anyone on the right is fine. Your brother is in the master's bedroom, okay? Okay. All right? All right, all right. Okay. <laughs> Everything about this house is gorgeous. My father or whoever is in charge clearly has a very, a very good taste. I, I need to see what the master bedroom looks like. You heard my aunt. My brother is there. Uh, you should be the one there. You should experience what it feels like to be in your father's room. I'm not interested. I just want to see. Look, in the interest of the both of us, it's better we don't get our expectations high. Why? So we don't set ourselves up for disappointment. Whatever. I need to go see my aunt. Already? Yes, I need to know the essence of this whole thing. You just got here. I mean, you need to take out time to see what the place looks like. See, half of this place is yours now. Well, we don't know about that. Besides, I need to understand what she's really talking. Okay, I'll do the looking for you. <laughs> Annie. Please stay here. Yes, sir. Fine. <sighs> this is like heaven. Oh, my God. Oh, this is beautiful. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Xavier, right on time. Yeah. Hello. Hi. What's popping? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. good? Huh? You good? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You? I'm good. You cool? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, um, I'm glad to see that both of you are at least familiar with each other. You don't have any choice. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, you don't. Um, like you well know, your mothers have no right over whatever my brother gives to both of you. Why? You already know the answer to that. I like to contest it. It's absolutely wrong. Why? Roland, there is nothing, absolutely nothing to contest here. So, because he had a fling with our mothers, they don't matter. They don't even factor into this equation. Why? Roland, can you make this easier for me? Because I don't want to pass you through the lecture of how my brother and the women in his life live their lives. All right? He didn't get married to them, but he won't deny his kids. <laughs> okay, but well he's been denying me for years. Well, I'm sure he regretted that. That's why you're here. Okay. Please, can I just move on or is there any other thing to contest? It's okay. Just, just go on. Go on. Good. So, um, your father, my brother, was not an easy man to deal with. Both of you know that um, he didn't attempt to build any relationship with your mothers or you boys. Well, he's late now. Any opportunity to change that is gone forever. Well, both of you are the only children he has. So, somehow you have to find a way to bond and be a family. The fact that we know that we're half brothers should be enough. What else do you want us to work on? Reviving your father's export company, Rinse Exports Limited. Here you go. Xavier.
So how come you never mentioned any of this when you called? Obviously because I want to talk about it in person. Where is this company? I'll show you tomorrow. Hmm. You said something about reviving the company. What does that even mean? It's dormant. Since he died? Exactly. Well, did he leave some money? Because this is a big task. To revive a company, you need a lot of funds. So we need resources. Hopefully he left some money for us to do this. Roland, there is no money. What? It's just this house and the company. You boys have to figure it out. With no money? Exactly. Ah. Huh. Captivated my soul, a feeling I have never known. You got me longing for more without a word. Somehow you showed me the way when I was lost and away. You came and you saved the day. You're like a road sign, you showed me the right direction. Girl, you are my sunshine, you're my inspiration. You're like a road What do you mean, dormant? I have no idea. She should at least explain a bit to you guys so you know what you're walking into. Is it that there are no workers in the company at all, or they laid off a few people? I don't even know. I don't know with these people. I don't. Where is the company situated? She will show us tomorrow, so we'll see. This whole thing is even weird because I checked and this company, the name she mentioned doesn't have any online presence at all. And you know, like, when he died seven years ago, not all businesses were taking advantage of social media, so that's probably why. Babe, I know. But this one appears like the company does not even exist. I'm sure there's proof somewhere, I'm sure. Okay. When is she handing it over to you and your brother? I don't even know. This whole thing of forcing two people, strangers together, like what was that? I don't know this guy now. Maybe they are just trying to keep your father's memory alive. Walk your memory alive. He didn't try to keep his memory alive when he was alive. He would have connected with us himself. Are you worried? I'm uncomfortable. It's okay, baby. We'll sort it out, okay? He'll be fine. Do you want me to call my brother? Yes, I've been thinking about it actually. Mm, okay, I feel like it can help us with both the business and the building. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I need to see the company first tomorrow, you know, just see what we're working with, you know? Okay. We need to also consider what to do with this house. Yeah, I'm thinking of selling this place, you know, I guess in another place that's closer to town. You know, I mean, I don't like the location of this place. It's on the outskirts. Do you think they will let you sell it? They or Xavier. We, we both own it. Will Xavier even let you sell it? I don't care. I don't care what he thinks or feels. I'm going to invoke my rights as the first child in this decision making. So I don't need him or his permission. Very good. I like the sound of that. No, I just need to see the company first. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> so you looking at me like this. Let me go have a bath. You want to, eh? Now? Yes, now. Or oh, after we. No, now. Eh. Mm. Okay, then after, then. Oh. I, I really don't get it. How do they expect you people to resuscitate a dead company without money? I don't know. Well, let's start from there. How does your father own this house, a company, and has no money? Maybe he gave all this money. Gave who? Who and who? I thought your aunt said you both are the only children he has. Oh, well, it's possible she, she doesn't know the full story, you know? <laughs> Yet she's in charge of bringing you both together. Well, if you ask me, 
I think someone is sitting on the money that belongs to you and your brother. Uh, I don't want to think about it like you that. You have to think about it. You are broke and you need money. This whole resuscitating a dead company without money is totally impossible. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Like I'm not making sense. You know, I just, I just want to be in the city room right now. Why? Well, I want to be by myself. Oh, I'm talking your ears off, Abby. I just want to be by myself. Don't make a big deal out of it, please. Okay, fine. I will always tell you the truth, though. And I appreciate that. Thank you. What's happening? Where's, where's the company? This is it. This one? Yes. What? How can this? This, lo this just looks like it's been abandoned for 15 years. Well, that's the company. Wait, what do you mean? What's going on? I don't understand. Wait. Okay. Now, this is your father's building. I mean, you can't even tell us what's going on. Like, what, what's going on? Exactly. It's, why it's so difficult to tell what us what's I'm going saying on. is what is going on. Th this is your father's building. This used to be a big exporting company. Yeah, like a million years ago. Well, I think I done my job showing you the place. Your father wants this place to be resuscitated. How? How I is that even possible? I have no idea. Xavier, maybe you and your brother can figure that out. I don't this understand. This looks like he hasn't been working for millions of years. Look at this. When was the last time they opened these gates? You boys are even lucky that you have something that someone can show to you. How many boys your age have an inheritance, even anything close to it? You should be thanking your God that you have something and figure out how to make this place work again. I'm in the car. What's in the mood to answer your question? This questions? is ridiculous, man. Look at the, the gate is rusting. Look, it's a jungle inside here. The grass is taller than the building. What's this now? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What's this? This can't be the company, man. Maybe this is the wrong address. We ah. know the world. You captivated my soul. A feeling. Roland? Roland? What? Come back, we need to talk. What's really going on? Huh? You know, I'm beginning to get tired of your line of questions. What do you mean you're beginning to get tired of my... What, what does he expect us to do with that building? Honestly... You should I, do magic. I don't care. If you and your brother wants this house that you're standing in, go and resuscitate that company. The whole family is rooting for the two of you. The whole family? Oh yeah, we had a meeting before I started contacting both of you. This is ridiculous. ridiculous. Sit down. I'm about to sit down, you don't have to be hostile, okay? Can we at least be human beings? Can we be humane to each other? What if we fail? Speak for yourself. What I'm just saying. Don't just say, I'm not going to fail, okay? Enough. Enough, both of you can do that when I leave. Now I'm going to send in the documents of the company your father gave to me. When? As soon as I can. Are you going to send it to where we live? No, I'm sending it here. So you're forcing us to stay here until you send it? You can't use the documents and hold us hostage. I'm not holding anyone hostage. Listen, if you and your brother do not resuscitate that company, I will come down to this house, lock every door here, and seize the keys. Wait, yet you said the house is ours? And the condition that the company is functioning. A condition that you conveniently forgot. You left that part out. Okay, you listen to me, young man. If you don't like how I'm communicating, you have the right to leave. Now, you all know that this house is being taken care of very well. 
Your father's housekeeper's daughter stays at the BQ. Her name is Jessica. She's the one in charge of this house now. She cannot be sacked, no matter what she does. Why not? Maybe because he didn't hire her. <laughs> anyway, she's a good girl. She does her job well. Moreover, she's deaf and dumb, so she won't get in anyone's way. So how are we supposed to communicate with her? Call her phone. Make sure you call it till she picks it up. Drop the call, send a text message. She'll read it. Then she'll come down. She's good at reading lips, so she'll read your lips, find out what you want. Then she'll reply with writing on a notepad that she's always with. That simple. Oh, wow. All this process. Anyway, she has the keys to this entire house, so she can come and do her job whatever time she wants to. I am on my way, and I think I'm done telling you people what is needful. If you have anything to ask me, you can call me. Let it be something really, really important. Otherwise, don't bother me. I hope, I hope the gate man is not blind, too, or careful. That we have to go and lift him and, and make sure that his right arm is like this and the left arm. Which one is you have to text her and call her that she will not come and write notes. Do you see that building? That building is dead. Okay, the company is gone. I'm not putting my money inside that thing. It didn't leave us anymore. It's resuscitated the company. So how, what am I, am I supposed to do? My savings. I should come and put it into an exporting company. What is it going to export? Dust and grass. Snakes and rats. They're not going to put my personal money inside that business room because that is dead already. What do you mean by dead business? It's dead. Watson. They should demolish that place. It's like this is it's, it's, it's eye pollution, something. They need to take that thing out of existence. See the rubbish house that she's showing me. What will I do with that place? So what was the essence of her showing you the building? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't even understand what's going on. I don't know. Wait, what exactly is Auntie Ru saying? What is she saying? She's not saying anything that's making sense. She's not saying anything that is even what's even repeating. She's saying that, eh, that she has showed us everything or that we should revive the building. Like, how? 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 Is this... We should do magic and revive the building. What's this? How are we supposed to do it? Money, they didn't leave. I don't understand. What's this? And this is the only way you get it right? That's the only house. way. It's not even like the house is that fine, self. The house is okay. Or is that... You want me to go and kill myself to get this okay house? Why are they making this whole situation so hard? That's it. If my father give me something, you say that, oh, okay, I had a father and he left the house for me. Give me the key and get out of my life. Let me enjoy this thing in peace. Eh? You will give me the thing and give me condition on top of condition on top of condition. What? What was Xavier saying? Who? Xavier. Who's that one? That, I don't I don't care what he's saying, Seth. That guy is so forgettable. I didn't even remember that he was there, Seth. I'm not going to wait for him to find making my decision. I'm making my decision for myself. It's so slow. He's not even saying anything. But how are we going to cope with this whole situation? They are practically forcing the both of you to do everything together. They can't force me. They cannot force me to do anything. Nobody then born me come this world. They cannot force me to do anything. What kind of rubbish is that? They're forcing brotherhood on me. I've been alone my whole life. You can't force this guy to be my brother. Still, I think it would be better if you guys connect. It would be easier for you to get whatever I you beg, want. I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't need that headache. I don't need that headache. I don't need this. I don't need the headache. I don't want, I don't need it. I'm not convincing anybody. I'm nobody's daddy. If he doesn't have brain, he doesn't have brain. I can't give him brain. Ah. But you know, with the way the situation is right now, you can't forcefully take anything. Babe, babe, babe. Do you know what? I don't even want to talk about this again. Okay, I don't. I just, I'm tired and I'm hungry. This will not kill me. Fine, let me see what I can get in the kitchen. Thank you. Just calm down, cheer up, okay? We'll sort it out, alright? Oh. <laughs> Stop. Oh. So this one's going on. You yes. were hiding under the duvet. Yes. Mad. <laughs> let me get you food. Why are you going? <laughs> Food. I said I was hungry. <laughs> I don't know if I'm sorry. <laughs> Babe, see, these people want to use you. How? They want to entice you with this house and then use you. How? There's, there's nothing about me anybody can use. How do they want to use me? Well, we don't have to be here to find out. So you want us to leave? Of course. But not without getting something out of it. Wait, listen. 
can't you people just rent this house and share the money? Rent? Why would I want to rent the house? Because we need money. We need money to pay our rent. We are broke. When you, you said your father left something for you, I was happy. Because I thought there was something to gain. But clearly there is not. See, this house is fine. But it's not just for you. Let's convert this thing to money and live here. So what about me wanting to connect to my father? Oh, you tried connecting to him when he was alive. And what did he do? He didn't want to have anything to do with you. So what do you want to connect to now? The house or the company that has fallen apart? <sighs> Listen, babe, we are struggling and there is clearly no solution here. Well, there has to be. I don't see it. Look, I just need to look deeper or, or, or harder or something. Okay, so what happens to me when you look deeper? I just hang on here? Babe, I'm very sure your brother is planning something. I met his girlfriend when you, you, you went out with your aunt. And she doesn't seem to me like someone that would just be here for nothing. Your brother uh, is definitely planning something. What if he isn't? Have you thought about that? Have you even thought that maybe it would be nice we saw this thing to the end? Let's see where this whole thing is headed. What experience do you have in exportation of goods to God knows where? Babe, I'm, I'm a fast learner, all right? I can learn anything in a flash. Do you really want to do this? <laughs> I just want something of my father. Maybe I should just stop advising you. Babes, look, my mother is with her husband and her young children. She barely even wants to see me. My father didn't even want to see me before he died. Now, the only family I have is my brother, who I met just a few weeks ago, and he doesn't even seem to like me. This is like the only connection I have with my father. I feel really empty when that I don't have any kind of anchor to him. It would be, it'd be madness for me to just walk away from all that. Fine. And where are you going? Listen, I need time to myself, okay? And next time when you're talking about your life, just try to put me in it. Because I have been there and I have loved you. You saying you're lonely really hurts me. Babe, babe, babe I, didn't, I didn't mean it that way, all right? I, I didn't mean to make you feel like you, you don't matter. Come on now, baby. Take... Hello. 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 What's going on? I don't know. I, I was about to cook and then I went upstairs to get my phone. I came back down and I met her here. I've been trying to say hi and she's not talking. Why is she so rude? Probably the housekeeper. She's okay. supposed to be deaf and dumb. What? Yeah, that's what my auntie told me that she's, she can't talk and she can't hear. Wait, you're serious? Yeah, serious. Mm. Is that okay? This is the same thing. Cool. All right. All right, babe. Okay, babe, let me really cook. Hmm? I want to just cook. Cool. Okay. Hi. Oh. Hi, Annie. You're you're cooking? Yes, I'm cooking. And to make something for Roland. Just him? Yes, why? I mean, we're all here. Yes, we're all here. And from the look of things, we're going to be here for a while. Oh, I mean, you guys don't plan on leaving anytime soon? No. 
This is Roland's father's house. And Xavier's father's house as well. Yeah, you get what I mean. Um, what, why the rush? We have a lot of things to do. Okay. Uh, in that case, well done. Thank you. Yeah. Where where are you going? Oh yeah, I'm going for I'm going for a run. Just want to run for a few hours. I need to clear my head. Are you still angry? It doesn't matter. I I think you need to speak with Roland. Annie, please stop. I think they are planning something. You don't know that. Okay. Colette is downstairs cooking for Roland alone while we're here. I think she's just being so selfish. Then it's simple. We make our own meals. Oh, that's not the point. There was something she said that makes me believe that they know something and they do not want to share. What did she say? Well, she said they won't be leaving anytime soon and there's a lot to be done. My point? You see you were wrong about them planning to leave? Can you see that now? I'm sure they're just trying to figure things out. Oh, babe, this has nothing to do with figuring out. Okay, they know exactly what this is and you need to find out. Babe, I need to go for this run. Babe, don't let these people cheat you out of what belongs to you. I'm not even thinking about that. All right? This is no competition. And if at the end of the day it turns out to become one, I'll just, I'll just walk away. Hmm. Yes. And let me say this. I just want to figure things out. All right? I just want to understand how my father, who really did not care about me, suddenly decided to give us his house and his company. Oh, a dead company, you mean? But you can call it whatever you want. I'm out of here. Yeah, I just want to know how soon you can come over and check out the, the place, you know, so we know what we can do with it. You know? Yes, yes, yes. My father um, left me the, the property, so it's mine. Yeah, no, I haven't I haven't gotten the documents, but it's it's on the way. I'm definitely going to get them. Yeah, no, I can guarantee that. She's here, actually, you know, she's here with me. We work past our differences and um, they're just focusing on loving each other and enjoying it, you know? <laughs> Why'd you make that face? What's that face? Okay, but yeah, let me know as soon as she can get here, okay? It's very important. All right. Thank you. Take care. <sighs> what did Tony say? He said that um, he would let me know as soon as he can get here and he also wants us to know if we were back together for real, you know? You should stop worrying about us. No matter how many times we fight, we'll always be together. Yes, but you're too far. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Mm. My lipstick. <laughs> mm. Savior, you can do this. Don't panic. You'll be okay. Don't run away either. You might end up learning something about yourself that will impress you. Meanwhile, keep your emotions in check. No need to react or respond to any kind of discomfort.
You're upset. About what? Babes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I made you feel insignificant in my life. It wasn't intentional. I'm okay. I just don't want you taking too long to figure things out as usual. Listen, you know absolutely nothing about exploitation. You cannot do it. Please don't say I can't do it. Do you know how many times I've watched you start and fail? Except you want me to sugarcoat the reality for you. Listen, I know you want to run a business, you want to start something, but you've not been able to do it. What makes you think you can resuscitate a, a dead company? I'll just take a shower and go downstairs and sort myself out. Well, as usual, always running. Who are you? Oh, are you Jessica? You're the housekeeper. Do you want to clean? It's okay. Sorry I startled you. Oh. I'll just go. I'll just go. Oh. Just go ahead and do your thing. Man, now I see what you were trying to say over the phone. Yeah, what can we do with this? Wait, let me think. What, what, could, what could your father's family possibly want you to do with this, this property that I'm looking at? I have no idea. It doesn't even make sense to me. You know what, let's just go home, man. Lay all the cards on the table and make one or two calls. Okay. But let me ask you, what are you not open to? Losing it. Of course. Of course, because this might actually look useless right now, but it's standing on gold. I learned the properties around here are pretty expensive because government structures have been approved to be built all around the place, you know. So, not too bad. I'll make one or two calls though. Yeah. Let's, let's, damn. So it's a lot of money, like. No, right now it's nonsense. No, no, I'm saying like the land. Of course, of course, of course. Oh, I was just coming from your room. 
Hi. Hello. Savior. Tony. It's my pleasure. What's up? Is everything okay? Yeah, I was hoping that you and I could talk. We want to talk? Hey, we can talk. I have a meeting with Tony here. When I finish the meeting, we'll talk. Yeah? Okay. What's that? Okay. Hey, you can go. Thank you. Go, go, go. Go. Come back. Come back. Ace. You can take this one. And this one. Is that from Auntie Uru? You say? I mean the documents from Auntie Uru. This one? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I'm just going to take a look, peruse, you know, inspect, and then we can discuss later. Yeah? Sure. All right. You can go? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. Alpha. Let me see everything. Let me see. It took her like ages to send this thing. This is good. I can see the deed of gift. Yeah. yeah. Is that the money? It's nice. Wait, hold on. Ah, uh, um, when the CSC mm. What's up? Look, it's important. No, 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 what's up? It's important. Wait, 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 hold on. What is up? Because I told you I'm in the middle of a meeting now. Well, you can come back to this meeting. We live together and we can come back but, to whatever but, you want to talk about. No, lad. Come on, it's fine. I can wait. It's not even about you being nice enough to say you can wait. It's about the principle of things. We live here together. Can I talk? Even if it's momentarily. You really want to talk? It's important I talk to Okay, you. let's talk. Thank you. Oh, we're talking outside. We have to sweat for this talk. Okay, no wala. No wala. You want to do it outside where there's heat? What's your problem? What's your problem, guy? Hey, why are you stopping me? Well, you have the you have the document to the company. Are you showing it to your friend Tony? Really? Excuse me, what are you talking about? You're not making sense. I asked a question. You're talking something. What the what are you talking about? These are classified documents. You're not supposed to be showing your friend. It's my fault. Eh? I should have made this clear from the beginning. It's my fault. I apologize. Sorry. Eh? Whatever I do, I owe you zero explanation. You're holding a document that is supposed to be seen by just you and I, or you're making it public? Listen, for your information, I'm ahead of the game. I'm proactive. I'm forming a team. Do you understand? You're forming a team? I'm forming a team. Yes, I'm forming a team. Why on earth will you be forming a team? To play my talking kind of question is that. I'm forming a team to so, so, Bro, don't call me out here to be talking rubbish, show. I'm, I'm doing something important. You're coming in here to ask me stupid questions. Look, why would I form team again? Roland. Eh? Roland, I know that you and I don't know each other, all right? And because of this whole thing, we're forced to coexist in a space, which is very uncomfortable. But we don't have a choice, all right? Whatever decision you're going to take, I have to be involved. Listen, how I handle this situation is my business. How you handle it, I don't even care. Do you understand? So well, just leave me alone. I was supposed to work as a team. Don't work out! Have you ever run an exploitation business before? Well, I haven't, but... So you... shut up now, this guy. Just calm down. I have the guy in there that's a business development guru. And that same guy is a real estate guru. I go here wasting my time. Let me go there and find out how we can make money. Well, if you want to involve someone else, I should know and give a proverb. What are you saying? Says who? Well, says the condition that brought us here. My guy, forget the condition. What are you talking about, this guy? Forget that condition. Eh? See, I'm going back to finish this thing. If you was going to report me to Auntie Uru or whatever, I don't really care. Do you understand? The condition made crayfish bend. Your own crayfish don't bend, finish break. You don't want to better your life. Nonsense. Yeah, hello. I'm fine. Uh, um, my name is um, Xavier and I attended one of your business master classes and you gave me your card and said I could call from time to time. Yes, sir, please, I would like to come to your office. Oh, okay. Um, oh, when, when will you be back? Six months. Six months, that's, that's, that's a very long time. Yeah. Um, sir? 
Sure, 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 I can. I can. So the thing is, uh, I just learned that my father left a dead business behind for my brother and I. And we've been asked to revive this business. Now the thing is, I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to start. I don't know. I don't have anything to build and everything is gone. Yes, like dead, dead. Like even the building is dilapidated. It, it, it's, it's, it's decrepit. It's, it's really a decrepit situation right now. So um, that's, I, don't, I don't really know what to do. The whole thing is alien to me. I don't even have anything to build on. You know, so I, I was thinking you could, you know. Anytime, anytime, anytime that's convenient for you works for me. Anytime, I'll, I'll, I'll come and see you. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Babe, do I get your food? I'm good. Not now. Maybe you need to eat something. You've been like this for a while now. My brother doesn't want to have anything to do with me. <sighs> Listen, your brother just got to know about you a few months ago. Maybe he needs time to get used to you. Yeah, I got to know about him the same time. But I'm the one trying very hard to connect with him. Okay. Maybe you don't even need to try. Just focus on what gives you money and opportunities and just have a better life. Listen, this house is worth a lot of money. Look, I am not in support of the sale or rent of this house. I'm not forcing you to do anything. This house is the only thing that's left of my father. Baby, this is just a building. Your father is dead and gone. Stop acting like your father's spirit is going to come out from somewhere and present an award to you. Get over this fixation on things that connect you with your father. Are you being serious? Uh, well, me, I've said my own. I've said my piece, okay? Uh -uh. In fact, I've, I've lost my appetite. Just acting like what I don't understand. Without a word, you captivated my soul, a feeling I have never known. You got me longing for more Without a word Somehow you showed me the way When I was lost and away You came and you saved the day You're like a road sign You showed me the right direction Girl, you are my sunshine You're my inspiration You're like a road sign Telling me which way to go Yes, you are my sunshine Girl, you light my world, you know Without a word You rescued me and I'm grateful Somehow you became my hero I just wanna let you know I'm lost for words The way that you captured my soul You must be sent from above With you it feels just like home you're like a road sign, you showed me the right direction Girl, you are my sunshine, you're my inspiration You're like a road sign, telling me which way to go Yes, you are my sunshine, girl, you light up my world, you know Oh, oh
Here, the money. A company or business is not about a building, but about a vision. I didn't write this. What's your, what's your honest opinion? What do you think I should do? Uh, what's your honest opinion? Well, if you ask me, bro, sell. Sell the properties. I mean, this house is beautiful, but you can get something better even in town. You get right? And the company site? That company site might actually look dead and useless right now, bro. But the land is everything. I told you the price of lands in that area is just skyrocketing every second because of the government. I told you about mm -hmm, the government mm -hmm. structures now, right? Or better still, you can as well decide to keep it, you know? Keep it, look for money from somewhere and clean up the facility and then probably spend some time learning how to explore. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I don't have energy. Okay, I don't have interest or experience in the field. So what am I going to do spending my life doing, suffering for? 
then get the properties off the market like I told you. Huh? Get it off the market, bro. I'll sell it to my auntie. I'll sell the idea to her. Bro, uh -huh. I feel that what you want to do with the property your father gave you is nobody's business. I mean, I'm not saying you should sell the property and keep the money or squander the money. What I'm trying to say is at least when you sell it, you get a property somewhere very close to town, let's say four or five bedroom duplex. Hmm? And what's remaining? Share with your brother, give to your father's people. My brother, ah, that's another one. I'm going to come for the props to you. I need to find a way to handle that guy. Then you tell him what he needs to hear. What does he need to hear? Look, we're going to fashion, you know, some fake or adjusted documents of how much we really sold the land. Well, keep your voice down. Keep your voice down. Sorry about that. What do you say? We'll adjust how much we really sold the land. Give him some fake documents. That settles it, ain't it? I feel... Whereas you already bought four... Oh, four no, no need to shall I. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'll tell your sister, you know. Tell her amen. I'm sure she'll be happy to hear that. You know? <laughs> now, do we have, like, est... <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are so funny? No, no. It's, it's just... It's, it's calm. It's calm. It's that you're my sister. You guys are not sister surprise me. I mean, you guys are trying to work things out. <sighs> you know us now. Uh, even when we are mad at each other, she annoys me so much. But I can't stay without her. So... That's what it is. When I find all this love, guy. What do you mean, when I know they talk that kind of thing? <laughs> eh? I shall behave your fool, but you know, go green for cause. You want to find love. Why you find love? Have you been? I went to check on a few things. Or maybe avoiding me. I'm not avoiding you. Well, these days you just take off each time I say something to you. I don't, I don't take off. I, you don't have a lot on my mind. Hmm. Well, I'm here. Let's discuss it. Is that why you dropped a note for me? What note? You slid a note into my writing pad. No, I did not. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Why won't I be sure of what I did or did not do? I can't remember writing that. What's the note about? I'll get that. Come in. Can we talk? Sure. I'll be in the living room. All right, I'll, I'll join you. I need to see Roland. Well, if he's talking about money, you better accept it without arguing. <laughs> Said my own. Somewhere. I'm good. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's good. Please have a seat. Let's uh, let's talk. Hey. <clears throat> you know, um, we've actually never had a conversation about this whole taking this house and reviving the that dead company. Do you understand? So I feel like this is the perfect time to to get it going. You know, it's responsible. Do you get me? I mean, that argument that we had it was unnecessary. You know, it was uncalled for. I'm over it. That's great. That's beautiful. Yeah. So, what's up? Well, I think we should, you know, find out the vision behind the company and then work on relaunching that vision. That's the vision? Thing. Yeah. Okay, of the company? Exactly. Okay. So you want to spend the next couple of years, or it might not even be a couple, a couple is being optimistic. Do you understand? 
maybe the next decade or two of your life resurrecting a dead company. Oh, well, if that's what it takes, why not? Okay. 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 Have you ever exported anything before? No, I haven't. But you want to run an exportation business? Why are you always making it look like I'm the one that wants to run the business? Besides, there are tons of courses that we could take to, you know, help prepare us. And then we'll learn the rest on the job. <laughs> You're funny, man. You're funny. Say we should take us. That's going to be a joke. Ah, it's not a joke. That's cool. That's cool. So what about that dead building, Mike? Right? What would you do to, to let's, resuscitate this? Let's forget about the building. We should forget about the building. Better still, we could get a loan, all right, from a financial institution. Rent a small office and start from there. That's something. I see you've been thinking about this. How to make it work. Well, it's not like we have a choice. This is the only connection we have with that and our only way of, you know, taking hold of this house. Wow. Any other option? Is there any other thing that we might be able to do, even if it's not a priority? Like, any other thing we might explore? Well, I don't see any. You don't see any? Okay. Yeah, that's it. You know, I just wanted us to meet and brainstorm. You understand? Um, I think it's very responsible of us as grown-ups to attack the issue and be proactive. You understand? So I'm sorry I interrupted you and your girl, so you know, you can, uh, you know? Okay. Great talk. So what about you? Me, what? Your opinion? What, what would you have us do? Yeah. You know, my opinion doesn't make sense right now. You know, I need to think of something that makes sense. And once I come up with a good opinion, you know, that will benefit both parties and everybody, you know, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah? Fine. Huh? Yeah? Bro, bro. <laughs> ah, this is what you're doing. Slow motion. Are you okay? Eh? What's it there? I like your brain. It's working. Eh? It's working. Mm. Fine. <laughs> And those courses, we can get it online, Abby. Of course. Mag. That's that's dope. Man, I'm idiot. Because the only course here is that your course to be broke forever. Once you do course and start coming, who is it when you export what? So you export it. Hey. Hey, baby. Looking like there is going to be lit. Let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, how was your conversation with your brother? Yeah, it was a good idea what you suggested. You know, to know his line of thought. Okay, so... We're not on the same page. What do you mean? He wants to take courses on exportation. What? Seriously, I was looking at him like, are you crazy? He wants to spend time wasting time. I like, if that company was making some money in recent time, that building wouldn't look like that. Regardless of my father being alive or dead. Mm -hmm. I don't understand this. But did you tell him about your plans to sell? I couldn't tell him after the sense of him. Sincerely, I don't think he's going to agree. You know, so it's best I just do it then. Let him know. Then you really need to be ready for him. Because if he's ready to take courses to rebuild that company, meaning that building will be very important to him. I know. No. So what do we do now? Well, I told your brother to list the property for sale, you know, but discreetly. So, yeah. Has Xavier yeah, seen the papers since Antiru sent them? Mm -mm. He hasn't even asked for it. Does this guy have to walk in here anytime, just like that? I don't feel like communicating with this one. Unless you know sign language. Yeah, I don't even need... Yeah, come on, do I think and go. I don't have energy for it. I don't. You're right. I obviously don't know sign language. <sighs> okay. Let me just concentrate on my cooking, please. Yes. I, I want to help you, Shabu. Okay. I think I watch TV. I don't get. Hmm? You want to help? What? Yeah. How does it relate? No, because I know there's a certain pride that comes with actually cooking the entire thing yourself. There is no pride. No, no, no. I don't want to rob you of your pride, baby. Okay? The, you, we would eat bloated food. Uh, no, 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 no. No, don't I worry. <laughs> we should come out to it together. <laughs>
Hello. Hello. Hi. How do you do? How do you do? I am sorry. Forgive me for disturbing you. I do not really know how to use sign language. My name is Savior. Savior. Okay, that's for me. It's okay, it's okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, your name is Jessica. Yeah. My my auntie told us your name. How long have you been here? How long, long, like long, have you been here? Mm. All my life, okay. All your life. Nice. <laughs> that means you know my father very well. Oh, okay. So, in a few words, what kind of person was my father? My father, in a few words, what kind of person was he? <laughs> tough, tough, tough. Tough. He was a tough man. Was he nice to you? Was, was he nice to you? To my mother, yes, but to me, he never saw me or remembered my name. He called me Jessica. Oh, oh, sorry, <clears throat> sorry, I'm sorry about that. It's okay. <laughs> hmm. It's okay. So. Your mother, your mother, where is she? Your mother, mother, where is she? Where is she? Mm. Oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. She died a few months before my father. I'm really sorry. Okay. Somehow you showed me the way when I was lost and away. You came and you saved the day. You're like a road sign. You showed me the right direction. Girl, you are my sunshine. You're my inspiration. You're like a road sign. Telling me which way to go Yes, you are my sunshine Girl, you light my world, you know Without a word Where have you been? I was downstairs having a discussion With who? Ah, is this a jam question or what? You've been out for hours Well, I'm trying to understand certain things well, I hope that understanding has helped you decide what should be done. I am close. There's really no time. What? 
What's the rush about? Like, what's really pushing us? See, I need you to understand that it is not just you involved in this. And I have told you that I'm in no competition with anyone. Hmm. Well, I hope you don't end up regretting this. Look, I want to rest, all right? I'm not stopping you from resting. Hey, T. What's good, bro? I'm all right. What's up, man? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Nice to see you, bro. Nice to see you. You can say that again, bro. Good morning. Have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you. Hey, so what can I offer you? Dumb butter, bro. Yeah? Dumb butter. So what's up? <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you smiling? What's that smile about? Bro, I didn't know it was going to be this easy. What are you talking about? Should I announce? Of course, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a buyer. For the building? Yeah. You're serious? Come on, I'm sure. Right. <laughs> That's great, man. That's perfect. perfect. I'm telling so you. So soon? Yeah. I made a few calls yesterday. I asked some friends to keep their ears down. I got a call. That's great. Someone wants to buy. That is amazing, bro. I know, right? <laughs> you did great, bro. Ah. T. My Mom, man. My man. man. <laughs> It's all good, man. He wants to see the place. Sure, of course. He can see the place. Sure, I'll call him, you know, find out how soon he wants to see the place from today to a few days. That's now. anytime, even if you're seeing now, it's like, yeah, see this. You get me? <laughs> I told you, man. I told you. Yeah, this is great. Bro. Yeah, please help me call my sister, call it, man. I've, I've been trying to reach out on the phone, but I don't know. It's not going through. Oh, you've been trying to, oh, it's probably the network or something. I yeah, no, I'll get her. I'll get her. Right. That's a lot of money, bro. <laughs> I know, right? This is great. I know. This is real. I'm a magician, right? <laughs> Well, man. Ah. Ah. Colette. Are you ready? I am. Got your tickets? Yes. Who's that? The housekeeper. Hello. Don't worry, she can't hear you. Can she at least give us some space? Hello. She can't hear you. Why can't she hear me? She deaf? Yes, and dumb too. Come on, stop playing with me. I'm serious, she's deaf. Are you saying she can't hear what I'm saying now? She, she can't. Yeah, find girl like this. Can we continue our conversation? It's not, I didn't say I was going after her now. Like, I would be surprised if you were. <laughs> Wahala. Well, At least my reputation is going to spoil things for me. It will. Well, uh, as I was saying, yeah? Okay. I'm getting the buyer of the property to come in ASAP. If she sees the property, he will pay immediately. The question now is... I'm ready. I'm just waiting for the payment. What are we going to do about Xavier? Xavier? Yes. That should be Roland's problem, not ours. All you should focus on doing is make sure Roland doesn't change his mind about, you know, selling the property. No, he won't. He doesn't know anything about making money, okay? This is even the best thing that's ever happened to him. He needs the money, so don't worry. And you need to get out. I am ready. I'll call you. Okay. Be safe. All right, see you, sis. What? Why are you acting surprised? I mean, I don't know what she wants to do with the documents. Well, I want to study the company. And again, I thought about, you know, finding out if the company belonged to any association. I feel that information should be in the document. I don't think I saw anything like that. I already looked at the documents. I don't think I saw anything about associations. Okay, let me see the document. I need to, you know, look out for other things. Wait, why does it look like I'm begging too much for these documents? Why? Because you never asked to see it before. Well, I wasn't ready. Now I am. So I want to see them. No, I like you see it now. No, that's not an issue. Can I see them today? Probably. I think so. Maybe. Roland, is everything okay? Mm-hmm. So why are you acting like there's a problem? How? Why are you acting like you don't expect me to see the documents? Well, I just said that you see the documents. Ah, I don't get energy for this thing. I beg. I beg. I said you see the documents again. You so want to argue. You too like argue. Now you see the documents. Hey, come now. Ah. Mm. 
What kind of problem is this? Can you imagine? Just hand me the bloody papers. This guy's just being difficult, man. It's just the air fair. Okay, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Babe, what's going on? Why are you frowning? This guy might ruin this plan for us, so. This Xavier guy. What kind of name is even Xavier? He's just like his name. He's very useless idiot. How? He wants to see the documents. What do you need to see the document for? Why do you... Just calm down. I'll handle everything. Then let him see it and return it back. But what if he doesn't return it as fast as we need him to return it? Why would he hold on to it? This is right now. This is 50% rights. It's 50% my rights. Just like I'm holding it now. He can hold it and give it back to me. And if he doesn't return it, we can't sell the house without paper. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. We can't risk it. Uh, what if we convince him to sell? <laughs> That's an option. I got one idea. He's already talking about meeting the associations that the company is registered in. I'm like, what's your own, this guy? Where did they send him from? So he's really planning to revive the company? Revive what? He can't revive anything. He doesn't, he's never run a company before. Doesn't even make sense. I see why people are being stupid in the name of being smart. How do, okay, now, run the company. What will you do? You also know how to work all the things that you need to work to be a boss. But he wants to be a boss. What do we do now? We need to distract him. We need to distract him. He doesn't need to see those documents now. Because what if he takes it and he doesn't bring it back? Because those documents belong to the buyer right now. Do you get me? So we can't risk it. I think I know how to get to him. How? Don't worry. I handle it and I'll get back to you. Okay. Uh, I need okay. to get some things for dinner. Oh. So. Okay. We want to go and buy buy some 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 things for food. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you have money. Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. Don't worry. I got you. Okay. Okay. Listen, I'm so sorry about the situation and things, but I'll soon make up for everything. You know, you've been keeping us afloat, but I'll make up for it, I promise. It's fine, okay? You're all I fine. can't wait. <laughs> I'll see you later. See ya. Bye. Bye. Very soon. Wow, just the person I wanted to see. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> nice. Yes. That reminds me, I wanted us to talk about something. Okay. If I tell you that you have the power to make us all millionaires, would you believe me? <laughs> I would say you're a bloody ass liar. I'm serious, you actually can. How? There's a possibility for us to make so much money from the company's building. What do you mean, possibility? So someone reached out to Roland and said he's interested in buying. What did he say? He said yes, but that's if Xavier is on board. Are you for real? Yes. And the building is theirs, so legally they can do anything they want to do with it. Oh, okay, you know what? Just give me a minute and okay. let me talk to Xavier. Okay. This is like the best news I've heard I'm going here. I'll be back. Okay. Well, stop staring at me and say yes. Say yes to what? To selling that dead building and using the money to do whatever you want to do. So what about the goal? What goal? This house. See, when you sell that building, you can get another house. Do you know what that means? I'm talking about the goal of reviving the company. Oh, that's a stupid goal and you know it. Your father left you an inheritance. You don't have to suffer to access it. But I want to do it. Do what? Revive the company. Ah. Yes. So you think your father is going to wake up from the grave and, 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 and hail you and say, oh, well done. Huh? Look. 
You know me very well. You've known me for a couple of years. Do I cut across to you as someone that would chicken out after making a promise? Oh, you know very well that you did not make any promise concerning that building to anyone. Well, I made the promise to myself. Mm. Do you know how funny that sounds? I was busy before you interrupted me. What is more important than what I'm saying right now? You need to get out of here. This. Babe! Are you for real? Yeah, um, I'm calling to, I'm calling to, to ask if my father's company belongs to any association because I've checked your website and I didn't find the database of any association. Sir? Oh, my my father is late, but my brother and I are the ones in charge of the company now. So, it's called Rents Export Limited. Sir? My name is Savia. My father, Mr. Lawrence Otubo. Okay, okay, thank you. Well, when can I call you? When can I call you back, sir? <laughs> sir, you, 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 you really don't have to call. I, I, I can call. Just tell me when to call, and I'll call you, sir. Yeah. Okay. I won't forget that. I won't forget that in a hurry. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your time. Hey, you. Hi. Okay. What? Call this number. He works for your father. He works for my father? Even now? Okay. Sure. <laughs> There's someone ready to go. Okay. Oh, Annie, hi. Hi. Please, can I come in? Sure. Hi, Roland. Hello, hello. Hi. What's up? Uh, well, I, I spoke to him and he will never agree. What do you mean by never? Well, he thinks he can connect with your father and make him proud by reviving the company. How is he going to revive the company now? It's what? I have absolutely no idea. But then if you ask me, I think we should just go ahead and sell that building. And you're sure he will not come after us? He might. But he's dead broke. So even if he gets upset, he would have no choice than to take the money. Okay. Thank you very much, Annie. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. Good night, Roland. Good night. Good night. Man. It's broke. Wow, that's that that sounds very nice. <laughs> that makes it convenient, you know? Yeah, very convenient. So we can do anything we want. Hello, Roland. Huh? What? Yeah, I need to talk to you. What, what, what? Um, there's this guy that still works with dad and... But I don't want to talk about that dead company. I don't get time for that one, I beg. Look, the company might not be as dead as you think. Bro, I need to be somewhere. Look, okay. I've, been, I've been trying to talk to this guy. He's been reluctant, but I feel that you and Go I... Go while I'll talk, talk about it later, okay? We'll talk about it later. Roland... Fine! Who's this person you're trying so hard to reach? Somebody's supposed to give me some information. Huh? About your father's company, I'm sure. With all the world, you captivated my soul, a feeling Look, babe. I've never known. 
I have. What is it? I have to go, babe. Okay, I've seen the place. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. That's great. That's but how great. long will it take you to open the place? Uh, the person with the keys is on his way. Okay, so he will soon be here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But if you see the outside, you basically see What's going see the on? Inside. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? What are you doing here? Roland, what are you doing Keep here? Keep your voice down. Hey. What business do you have here? What's going on? There's nothing to worry about. Eh? What? Nah. Xavier, can we talk? I'm listening. Can we just go one side? No, that's not happening. Yes. Fine. Just huh? just hold up. Chill for Roland and I. I'm going to explain everything. Are you trying to sell my father's property? Yo, wait, wait, wait. Your father's property. Fine! Are you are you trying to sell our property? First of all, it's ours. Okay, nobody's selling anything. Keep your voice down. Ah. Hey, what's going on? Wait, sir, please just calm down. Everything is under control, okay? Nobody's selling anything. What's your own now? Eh? I have some business proposals I'm, 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 I'm about to pitch to this, to this man. Are you not deeming fit to discuss it with me first? Discuss what? Why am I discussing it with you? Eh? What's ja going on? Sir. I'm doing it for us. Sir, it's for you and I. Don't do this. Eh? It's for you and I. Sir, Wait, sir listen. Doing this. Listen, listen, this house is not for sale. No, what do you mean this house? This is a family house and you will lose your money. Nobody's, lose, nobody's losing Nobody's losing any money, sir. Nobody's losing. Don't, don't mind him. He gets like this sometimes. Bro, what's your own now? You will lose your money. Nobody's losing any money. What are you saying? What's the Why do you want to sell the property? Did I tell you I was selling anything? Look, you will lose your house. house. Nobody's, nobody's losing that's anything. That's you will lose your house. I'll that's show you. That's, that's Mr. What's your own now? Mr. Roland's brother. Xavier! I can explain to you. I am disappointed. I told you I don't want any issue. No, no, there's no. There's I'm out of here. Uh, sir, sir, let me explain. Hey, hey, what did you just do? What do you mean of what you just did? What do you mean? What did I do? What do you mean? What do I mean? What did you just do? What are you trying to do with Tony? I'm trying to do the right thing. What's the right thing? thing? What's the right thing? Selling the property that's not yours? I own fifty percent of it. And I own fifty percent. Did I ask you to sell my share? Listen, I knew you were up to something, but I never thought you would go this far. Huh? How are you going to renovate it with your billions of money that you don't have? And who told you I don't have it? Who told you? What are you talking about? Your girlfriend called you broke and she's willing to help you on useless life by supporting this and you're here fronting. You're broke! She should not get. Not a look at like that. Book your accounts. That's where you go see death. See this idiot. Look, but there's no way you're selling that property. Do you understand? The only reason you and I have a right to that house is because that thought of us is worthy of only something that belongs to him. And he has asked for just one thing. And it will be honorable for us to do what he has asked. You need to stop begging for the attention of a dead man. Okay, go! Stop begging for the attention of your daddy, because he's not here again. Nonsense. This boy doesn't want to go up. Idiot. See this stupid guy. Eh? What happened? Can you stop this deal? Can you imagine? We are not supposed to get in that money and this idiot stopped it. Where's my brother? I don't know where he is. I have to test this idiot. You stupid fool. How can you even be dating this person? Is there a bad look on you that you're dating this kind of person? Is? It doesn't make you look good. It makes you look less attractive or that you're dating someone so stupid and, and not ambitious. They're giving you money you don't want. A broke person, you're hungry, you're thirsty. See what I drink. You don't want to drink water. Idiot. Idiot. Can you imagine? Babe, I, I... I told them you're broke because there's no need to pretend anymore. Annie, I've told you that you would have a very big problem with me the day you get comfortable disrespecting me the way you have just done. You always make me do things I don't want to do. Well, that's because you never listen or allow yourself to do anything without considering heaven and earth. Can you imagine what you're supporting? That I sell the house that was given to me to rebuild? 
Okay, fine. If I said it, what happens? We disappear into thin air and not explain anything to Auntie Uru and the rest of the family? Who cares about what they think? It's your property now. Okay, what about the business? The business that was given to us to revive? What business? What exactly do you know about the business? What are they even expecting you and your brother to do? To do our best with the first responsibility. That's what we're supposed to do. I don't grow off like common criminals. Babe, I am trying so hard to stand by you because I love you. You love me? Really? How can you say you love me? When you don't respect the only thing I consider important to me. How can you say you love me and then you expose me and ridicule me the way you just have? How can you say you love me and all you have done is discourage me every single time? What kind of love is that? Who? Huh? You're not saying anything. Thought as much. So he was there? How did he find out? I know Roland didn't tell him anything. Mm, I have no idea. I need to stop hanging around Roland. I really thought I could get all my monies back from this sale. So you don't feel anything for him anymore? I don't feel Jack. Like he's of no use to me. I mean, I've spent so much money setting up multiple businesses for him and all he does is prance up and down arrogantly, wasting my money. I was already on my way out of the relationship until I heard his aunt say something about an inheritance. I really thought I could influence it and, you know, get my money back. Sis, you tried. But this is how your guy will not let things happen. I mean, this is a game over, right? So frustrating. Yeah, so what's 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 going on? What's with the false alarm? You sent a message that you were trapped in the company's building only for me to get there and realize that you just wanted me to go there and, you know, find out what my brother was up to. How did you know? How did you, how did you know, though? How did you know? Please tell me. Your father would have loved. Your father would have loved you. Really? Why are you so sure? <laughs> because you're decent. Really? Am I? Can I sit? Sit? Can I sit? Sit. <laughs> so you don't want to tell me how you knew what my brother was up to? You don't want to tell me how you knew what my brother was up to. I'll tell you someday. It's okay. 
Thanks for making me go there. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> what are you doing here? So the deaf and dumb girl is the important thing you had to handle. Her name is Jessica. Huh. What were you doing in her room? I knew I don't have time for this. You keep making stupid choices. I wonder why you can't just team up with your brother and get a better life. And I'm wondering what you're still doing with me and my stupid choices. Because I am that lawyer. Oh, you're free to go. Wait, what? Because I'm not going to stop being who I am. I, are you breaking up with me? Go look for a smart guy. A smart guy that will be what you want because I'm not that person. Huh. So the deaf and dumb is the girl you want. This is not about her. Okay. You know what? I don't even know why I'm wasting time talking to a broke guy like you. To hell with you! And I hope you didn't read her lips. I'll be inside. Oh, hello, dear. Thank you. Um, please, can you get um, Roland for me? You can join him too. Let's have a conversation. Okay, ma. Oh, Xavier. And it's a good day. How are you? I'm fine. I wasn't. Um, I wasn't expecting you. Oh, okay. I had to come. Oh, Annie. Where are you? Are you leaving? Why don't you join us? Let's have a discussion. What is going on? Well, she looks oh. like that sometimes. Okay. I guess everyone is here. Let me start by saying that you're all very lucky that you didn't sell my house. What house? Do you know why all of you are here today? Well, I'm sure you're going to tell us. Of course I will, Roland. You're here today because I insisted that finding both of you is a good decision. Your father died leaving nothing for both of you. What? He wasn't prepared for his death. He had no will, so no direction. We thought, since I know both of you exist, I said, let me get you all together so you can get something that belongs to your father. So it was you that picked that dead company for us? Huh? You know you're a very stupid boy, Roland. What do you mean I'm stupid? The company is dead. It's so useless that even homeless people are not living inside. Homeless people are rejecting it. That building belongs to me. It's mine. That's something I inherited from my late father. So why did you lie to us and make us believe it was ours? Lie to you? Yes. I don't have to. Nobody in the family wanted to give you a chance. Nobody wanted to give both of you a chance. Because they didn't know if you were decent men. So I thought, okay, maybe I should try you people out to find out the kind of persons you are. And I have found out. Wait, wait sorry. Um, try us out. What, what do you mean by that? The man your brother Roland was trying to sell the house to happens to be your uncle. <sighs> yes. He runs a big real estate firm in this city. One of the biggest, actually. So I contacted him. I told him to keep his eyes open and his ears to the ground to find out if that building will be up for sale. 
He called me and told me everything. He equally mentioned that he was asked to pay in money to three different accounts. What? Call it. I see you're related to Tony, the house seller. He's my brother. Good. And a huge amount of money was meant to be paid into your account. How? I don't care how, Roland. We've made our decision. Xavier takes over this house and your father's company, which is actually a thriving company, not that dead building, I should. What? Wait, what? He's taking over what? Well, everyone knows Xavier has been making efforts, making calls, making research on how to revive that company. This is my father's house. Okay, you can't just take it away from me. It's my father's house. I'm the first, I'm the first child. Why are you taking it away from me? Oh, Roland, I'm so sorry for you. Don't be sorry for me. It's tradition. Tradition says this is my own. One more thing, when you're done with your madness, you can discard those documents I gave to you because they're all fake. Xavier, I will take you to your father's real company. The staff are waiting for you. Really? They can't wait to put you through. You're taking your father's place. The lawyer will um, show you the documents that you need to sign, give you um, your car and uh, money. You cannot do this to me, okay? You can't do this to me. First of all, you said that he didn't leave any money. They were talking about money. Where's the money? It's like you can't just be only here. I'm not I'm, I'm using my blood now. Roland, you did this to yourself. I gave both of you equal opportunities. All we wanted to see was some sense of decency and responsibility, which you lack. What do you mean I lack? Xavier, this house is yours right now. So anytime you're done with your brother's <laughs> madness, you can kick him out. Hey. Jessica. <clears throat> is going to be leaving. So you can feel free to employ whatever staff you want to employ. All right? So I have done my bit. Have a nice life. <laughs> Let me hear from you. This is my father's house. I am the first one. No sense. It's tradition. Forget the documents. Hey, listen. Don't, don't let it go to your head, though. Forget those uh, documents, we're in, we're in Africa. Tradition-wise, this is my house. And that company that she's talking about is my company. And any money that Allah gives you, you must give it to me. Do you hear me? Any money they give you, you must give it to me. I'm being honest to you right now and I'm trying to be gentle and calm. I'm very calm right now. If they give you anything, give it to me. You, they're going to pay what money into your account. Eh? Which money were they going to pay into your account? I said what? My land. All of you are stupid. Every single person is stupid! Nonsense! Nonsense! Hi. Oh, hi. You know, for a second I thought you were Jessica. You have this striking resemblance. Yeah. I am Jessica, it's me. <laughs> Yeah, you could have had me fooled. Is she? Is she... I'm serious. I'm Jessica. It's me. <laughs> You're not joking. No. Did you? Did you just speak? <laughs> yeah. You spoke. <laughs> I'm do. I did all this for your father. You did it for my father. How? Why? Like. <laughs> how? <laughs> I had an illness that impaired my hearing and speech. Eight years ago, I was. 80% deaf and dumb. And your father paid for my fees. Not until two years ago, I started hearing and I could speak properly. So a way to show my appreciation to your father, I decided to choose the right person that would inherit his property. And so I asked Aunt Uru to allow me pretend and monitor things. I've been deaf and dumb for a long time, so I could easily switch and it could be convincing. <laughs> Your father was a very good man, likewise my mother. You have his heart, even though he could not stick to one woman. He was indeed a good man. I know you've always wanted, you wish you could see your father, but I'm sure he'll be very, very proud of you. <laughs> you know, I always wondered what your voice sounded like. I actually wanted to talk to you so many times. Couldn't help it. So? Where are you going? My apartment. Congratulations. 
can you just keep talking? Like, <laughs> can we have a real conversation before you leave? Okay, sure. You actually spoke. <laughs> you actually spoke. What do you mean? You can't do this to me. Do what? Do you know how many millions I've spent on you since we started dating? Rent, feeding, and all those stupid businesses that you start and fail at. So you are in it for the money? Yes! You are in it to get paid. Why not? When I found out at the end of the day, you amount to nothing. But you said you love me now, and I love you. Like we? Yes, I lied. Maybe at the beginning I did love you. That's why I spent so much on you, thinking that one day you would turn it around and maybe ask me to marry you or nothing. But year in, year out, nothing! Now you forced me to try and sell this house. I've lost everything and you want to leave me. It's not possible now. You can't just do that now. It's not... It's, no now. Go and talk to your brother. Maybe he can reconsider you. He looks like the kind type. And we are done. It's over. Oh, no, it's not... Babe, let's discuss. Let's... We can sort it out. Find this together. What are you doing? You can't leave, leave me now. Leave, leave me alone. Babe. Go and look for who is going Babe, to... Babe, we love each other now. It's wrong. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Sit, sit. Uh, okay. Well, you told me, you told me that he never saw you, that he even called you Jacinta until he died. I only said that so you could stop asking me questions. I was afraid I would do or say something prematurely. <laughs> wow. So you actually work for him? I work for you now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a business analyst at the company, and here my mother was the housekeeper, so I've taken over from her. Hmm. <laughs> you know there's something about you, something about you that feels very easy, you know, satisfying. Is it the fact that I'm too pretty? <laughs> <laughs> well, you are, but... Um, it's more like something from the inside, you know? Yeah, but you're really beautiful. Likewise, you. You're very handsome. Mm. And I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, so you're blind too. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um. hmm. I want you to stay. Please don't go. I was meant to be here until one or two of you know the truth. But I need you here to help me get used to my recent truth. You really want me here? I've never been more convinced about anything in my life. There's a way talking to you makes me feel. Please stay. Okay. You will. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Without a word, you captivated my soul. A feeling I have never known. You got me longing for more. Without a word, somehow you showed me the way. When I was lost and away, you came and you saved the day. You're like a road sign, you showed me the right direction. Girl, you are my sunshine, you're my inspiration. You're like a road sign, telling me which way to go. Yes, you are my sunshine, girl, you light my world, you know. Without a word, you rescued me and I'm grateful. Somehow you became my hero. I just want to let you know I'm lost for words. The way that you captured my soul, you must be sent from above. With you it feels just like home. You're like a road sign, you showed me the right direction Girl, you are my sunshine, you're my inspiration 
You're like a road sign telling me which way to go. Yes, you are my sunshine, girl. You light up my world, you know. Oh, oh. Thank you.